uh, Professor Rao, uh, Anshul, all the students who are actively participating in uh, artificial intelligence for education. Uh, it's a great pleasure and a delight for me to be back in IIT. I was here just about, I think, about a fortnight back. And uh, uh, I keep coming back here because every time somebody invites me, I feel that there will be good energy and it will be a good uh, learning process for me also to interact with young people who are trying to solve uh, problems. Uh, you know, the challenge for India is that we are growing at about 7.6% per annum, but the challenge is that we must grow at higher rates, 9 to 10%. And we must grow at those rates for three decades or more. And that will not happen till we don't disrupt a lot of things, until we don't become a very innovative society. And it's very important that we change our young people from just studying books to, as what Professor Rao said, is to solving problems. You know, if you go to America, a lot of innovation happened there. Uh, Silicon Valley has done a lot of innovation. But it's done innovation for war machines, all the top war machines of the world. It has done innovation for driverless cars. It has done in a lot of innovation which are good for the rich and famous people of the world. Many of those things, many of those innovations like driverless cars to my mind are not relevant in the Indian context. War machines are definitely not. Our problems of India are very, very different. Now, how do you make India uh, sewage free? How do we convert all the garbage that we co collect all around into better energy? How are we able to provide our farmers with seed and fertilizer on a real-time basis based on their soil and weather condition? How do we uh, are, how are we able to provide water to our people, which is free from flow, which is arsenic free, fluoride free water, for our people in rural areas? And how do we, we take a lot of time in our construction, four years, five years for flyovers, can we do a flyover in 30 days? And to my mind, all these problems are technologically doable. Even a flyover in 30 days is technologically doable. So, if India is able to find solution to these problems, then actually you will be finding solution not for 1 billion people of India, but you will be finding a problem to for the 7 billion people who will be moving from poverty to middle class. You will be finding problem to a lot of people across Africa, a lot of people living below poverty lines who will actually be moving into middle class in the years to come. And the challenge for India is that we keep studying, we keep our scientists keep doing research work all the time. We have hundreds of labs in India, hundreds of government labs. CSIR itself has about close to 58 labs. We keep doing research all the time, you know, but uh, we are, you know, the challenge I think is in terms of applied science and how do you use science and technology to find problems for the people of India is the key challenge. And I think today's exercise is really about that. This week, hackathon and artificial intelligence for education is all about that. You know. It's not possible for India to grow rapidly and get the window of advantage or window of demographic transition without two areas, health and education. And third, I think, is critically nutrition, which, is, which needs a huge solution to my mind. 
health education nutrition and in the area of education we've been able to provide access of education we've been india as a country has been very successful it has been able to provide access of education to all people in fact we've created excess number of schools if you look at it there are schools which are uneconomical but the quality of education has very radically fallen there are several surveys surveys after surveys which show that there's no i mean 48% of the children not able to read in class 5 student not able to read class 2 english not able to read and write their own mother tongue in class 2 so you are saying that my son is going to school but he is not able to in class 5 he is not able to read class 2 english so he just goes to the school i mean education is no fun for him because he is not able to absorb anything so the process of learning the quality of learning has radically fallen in india why is it that about 40% plus children i mean even in a state like kerala i'm telling you i come from kerala kerala which is which has very high human development index and the physical quality of life index is very good has actually performed very badly in maths so why is it that we are able to provide education and yet 44% of the children of class 5 are not able to do simple addition and subtraction so you know simple addition subtraction they are not able to do and therefore access is not important the important thing is how do you improve the quality of education and that to my mind is clear so employability outcomes in india need drastic improvement and if you want to really capitalize on demographic dividend the key is that we need to technologically leapfrog in education without disruption in education in some form or the other it will not be possible and how do you use technology to leapfrog in the field of education is the key and the next 10 years are extremely extremely critical for india we can either leapfrog or remain relegated to a developing country status for a very long time and i don't think it is the intention of anyone here to ensure that india remains relegated we need to technologically leapfrog and the long term impacts of education on the economy are much much higher than in any other field because you are basically investing in human capital and that is more important you are investing in human capital across all sectors of the economy now the role of artificial intelligence to my mind and data science in the space is extremely critical because it allows for it allows for quality and scale at a very affordable price and that is what data will do that is what artificial intelligence will do enable you to make a big jump in terms of quality and scale at an affordable price it will allow you to extract insights from massive data sets so that governments particularly governments and firms know where to invest where to invest less and it will allow us to solve problems that have remained unsolved for years such as the teacher skills gaps problem in india i mean there's a huge it's not that there are no teachers the teachers if you look at bihar there's a shortage of almost 36% teachers in rural areas it's not that there are no teachers there are teachers the, the state has uh, has actually taken a lot of teachers but the teachers are not going to rural areas and my view personally has been that there are many teachers in rural areas who don't go there and have never taken classes so one of the key things which we have done is possibly is to tell all states that the photograph of the the students must recognize the teachers and the photograph of the teacher must be bigger than the photograph of the prime minister of india so that at least let the student know who the damn teacher is and the teacher must go and teach him every day so actually we are 
as a country we are stuck in the age of very incremental or sustaining innovation slow gradual incremental approach in edu in education and that is not possible to enable india to grow rapidly we need very massive disruption in in innovative technologies in education i mean for example if you look at mooc online video courses provide access to education but they suffer from lack of quality and effectiveness only 10% of the students complete their courses similarly pedagogical innovations such as flipped classrooms improve quality of learning but they don't give you the scale so there are two massive problems to be solved in education as i said access to learning and the quality of learning both Uh, and we need as a society as a country india needs to figure out how to do both without compromising one on the other we have actually achieved access without achieving quality so with recent advances you know and huge advances have been made in machine learning data science natural language processing we need to start and build education technologies that solve for access without quality without compromising on quality and vice versa and artificial intelligence alone has the power to do this to simultaneously make education higher quality more efficient and more affordable you know until recently research and applications of artificial intelligence have favored highly capitalized industries you know they you focused on robotics autonomous vehicles enterprise intelligence big data analytics sales advertising marketing all this and so all work has been done for the rich and elite but very little has been done for using artificial intelligence for education and that's why i really felt that what has been attempted here by anshul and by iit delhi is enormous because this is a difficult pursuit for both economic and technology reasons and this may not get you high but in the long run will transform india this to my mind this is what will transform india and we at niti ayo you know uh, and with this open ed artificial intelligence partnership we are extremely committed we are extremely excited to tackle this white space head on bringing we want to bring smart people like you together and we want to inspire all of you to apply your knowledge of machine learning data science natural language processing to address inefficiencies in huge inefficiencies in education which needs to be tackled uh you know in the field of artificial intelligence the learning curve is steep research moves quickly with an academic silos open source initiatives create tremendous value by bridging learning and information gaps and the government understands this very critically and we at niti ayog are creating an open data portal which will host all open non personalized secondary data that the government creates and this will not only have separate data sets it will combine the data sets and serve visualization so that insights and inferences can be drawn easily and we envisage that using artificial intelligence in the form of natural language processing for easier search we expect uh, artificial intelligence researchers that they train their algorithms with the data sets that we are providing from niti ai so we believe in open data portal and we expect researchers like you and young people like you to use your algorithms with the data sets that we are providing uh there is a huge importance of young people coming up with solutions we uh, we are uh, in niti ayog you know we have the atal innovation mission we are supporting tinkering labs in school we have supported 500 tinkering labs uh, just to disrupt education in schools so that people just don't get used to books but get used to problems at a very young age from class 6 onwards we are supporting this year 1000 tinkering labs next year we'll support 2000 tinkering labs and we will actually uh, push for many many more incubation centers across india last year we've supported 19 incubation centers we'll support many more so uh, we need basically india needs a whole lot of innovators to maintain india's competitiveness and uh, they should power growth and job creation and this is what we are trying to do and this hackathon is is in many ways a great chance to try your hands at something 
that may be out of your comfort zone. But there's no better way than jumping in in the company of accountable, uh, you know, good buddies and friends with real projects solving real world problems. I mean, it's better to get away from books, look at real world problems, solve, do real world issues and find solutions to the real world problems. And I'm glad that there are over 1,000 students participating in this event from around the world. Uh, you know, I would like to merely end by challenging all of you towards solving two problems. One in the data science space and the other in the artificial intelligence space, both of which are closely interwined. You know, in the data science challenge, uh, prediction models for students' performance based on very large data sets collected by public, government schools to understand biggest influence on student performance. So look at, you know, uh, this is a data science challenge, Pred create prediction models for student performance based on very large data sets collected by both public and government schools to understand the biggest influence on student performance. Op this is an opportunity for a student hack week participant to present findings and recommendations to Niti Ayo and Government of India and we will award the best team here who can find this, uh, who can crack this. And in the artificial intelligence challenge, you know, I feel that India is a land of many languages and scaling up the teaching of English to these various linguistic groups across South India, across East India, across Northeast India has proved very difficult. So if you can build language learning tools and conversational agents capable of understanding different grammars and vocabularies of these various languages, that will enable us to make a big technological jump, especially for areas uh, where language is a major barrier. So, uh, you know, these are, one is a challenge on the data science challenge, one is on the artificial intelligence challenge, and both of you, on both these areas, those who crack it, we will be very happy to receive you at Niti Aayog. We'll be very happy to make you give a presentation for Government of India. And we'll be very happy to take you to the Prime Minister of India and introduce you uh, on both the data science and the artificial intelligence as people who crack problems, for, uh, the real problems of India. So with these few words, I'll conclude and I wish you all the best. And I'll be... Uh, I look forward to hearing as to what all, what are the major innovations you've cracked at the end of the week and we look forward to interacting with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great pleasure.